University of Wisconsin Eau Claire administrators say radio listeners will soon be able to tune in to 99.9 .9 FM for the latest Blue Gold music sports, lectures, and more, thanks to a million dollar gift in the form of a radio station license. The general manager of Midwest Family Broadcasting, Lynn Beert, says the gift comes after the company exceeded the number of stations it could own in a single market. Uh, and we needed to divest of one station. Education was our first thought, and the University of Eau Claire was our first call. Beards reached out to the UW Eau Claire Foundation president, Kamara Way, about the radio station in December. The gift includes the station license, tower, and other broadcast equipment. It's good for students interested in radio, but also students interested in TV and print, and for students in integrated strategic communication. The Department of Communication and Journalism Chair Mary Hoffman joins with other UW Eau Claire faculty in emphasizing the opportunities the new radio station will offer students. We'll have a bigger outlet for news programming and we'll get great clips to use when they go out to look for jobs. Until a staff is hired to run the new station, other local radio stations will contribute the initial content. Unless uh, you know you already kind of have a station in place, WPR is going to help um, fill that programming for a while. It's good programming, but there's going to be break-in for students and break-in for athletics, from my understanding. Students will have a say in the content that is aired from the radio station. Blue Gold Athletics plan to use the news channel for game day coverage. If students have input on what they want to hear and what they want to produce, that that's you should share that with us. This will be the second radio station at UW Eau Claire. The UW System Board of Regents owns the existing campus station, WUEC. The FCC could take anywhere between 30 and 90 days to officially transfer the license from Midwest Family Broadcasting to the university. There's a window where someone could say, you know what, um, we'd like to say we don't want this to happen. So, but our legal team has said, why would anybody say that the university shouldn't accept a free radio station to operate and it's in good hands and so we don't expect any opposition. The FCC is expected to make the final approval by July 1st. For Inside Eau Claire and Blue Gold Media Now, I'm Mackenzie Amundsen.